Hey everyone, Allison here from the Protocase team with a new Prototech tip. Today we're going to cover important do's and don'ts for graphics on your custom parts. So our job at Protocase is to make your custom parts exactly to your specifications so that you can meet your critical deadlines and keep your projects moving. Part of our one-stop custom manufacturing are our graphics processes, silkscreen and digital print. You can use our graphics offerings for labeling connectors, switches, applying your logos and branding, and anything else you want displayed, really. Both our digital print and silkscreen offer its own strengths and advantages. We've covered both silkscreen and digital print in other Prototech tips, which we've linked below. But no matter if you pick digital print or silkscreen for your custom parts or enclosures, there are several key things to keep in mind when you send us your graphics files. These tips will help minimize delays and avoid unnecessary processing fees. So with that, here are my do's and don'ts for graphics. Tip number one, provide your graphics in a vector file, not a raster file. Raster files are many tiny squares called pixels jammed together really closely in order to give the appearance of a smooth image when zoomed out. A raster file is going to cause issues because your graphics will be pixelated and not sharp. Vector files use geometric formulas to present the image, which means it will not pixelate, even when enlarged. This is why vector files are required for both silkscreen and digital print. By providing us with a vector file when you submit your order, our graphics team will be able to process your artwork quickly. Tip number two, make sure to give us your graphics to us in a file we accept. Vector file types include Adobe Illustrator, EPS, SVG, and DXF. PDF files can either be vector or raster. A quick way to tell if your PDF is a vector file is to zoom into the PDF to 1400%. If the image doesn't pixelate, it is a vector PDF. If you need your raster file turned into a vector, our graphics team would be happy to help for an additional graphics design charge. Tip number three, provide your artwork in the correct size. Vector files should be one-to-one -one because if not, information could be lost or altered when our team scales your file. Tip number four, don't forget to give us your fonts when you send your graphics files. If your graphics include a specific font and we don't already have them in our library, when we try to open your files, our design program will substitute in a default font. If you provide the font with your graphics file, our graphics team will be able to install it and open the file without any issue. Now, you also have one more option. You can convert your text to outlines, which essentially saves the information as a vector shape. But if you go this route, once the font is converted to outlines, the text can no longer be edited. So just make sure everything is finalized if you're going to go this route. Tip number five, make sure to tell us the placement and orientation of your artwork on your design. When you send your graphics files to us, it's always helpful to provide information about where you want your graphics placed on your parts. If not, our team will have to check back with you for the placement and orientation information, which can cause delays in getting your order processed. Tip number six, choose the correct color mode. If you're choosing digital print for your graphics, your artwork needs to be in CMYK color mode in order to ensure the colors are most accurate. If you're going the route of silkscreen, you do not need to provide a certain color mode. Our silkscreen is offered in specific stocked colors, so you'll just pick the colors you want. Tip number seven, using Protocase Designer? Make sure you're using the latest version. Protocase Designer is our own free design software where you can design custom parts, panels, and enclosures, and then quote an order when you're ready to have them manufactured. If you're using an older version of Protocase Designer, your graphics may need additional processing by our team before we can build your design. Downloading the latest version of Protocase Designer is a quick and easy way to make sure you're up to date. Tip number eight, choose your digital print resolution. We offer two different digital print resolutions, our standard resolution of 720 dots per inch and our premium resolution of 1440 dots per inch. We have a full Prototech tip that breaks down both options and tells you when premium resolution is recommended. So check out the link below in the description for that video. At the end of the day, we're here to make your parts and enclosures to how you envision them and to suit your specific application. So if you have questions or want to talk through what you're needing, our team is here to help. Contact your Protocase account manager or email info at protocase.com. 
We've got a ton of helpful links below in the description, including other prototech tips about graphics, blog posts, and some key pages on our website. Thank you for watching this week's Prototech Tip. See you next time.